Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from the News Channel for Town Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin. Seen this before. This is our video weather blog, exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never seen this and you'd like to know more about this or would like to suggest segments that we can use on here talking about different things, we try to keep it as timely and topical as possible. So usually severe weather expectations when we see severe weather, weather winter weather when we see that, stuff like that. But if there's something you want to see on here, email me at austin.onic at w com. Currently this morning, as we record this, we've got some pretty good possibilities and visibilities involving fog across parts of the Mid-South. Sorry about the glare there. Should be have to get that change on there. But anyway, visibilities may be a little bit lower again tonight. Forecast on the red bar. Easterly winds today. That's the arrow pointing in that direction. Cloudy skies and temperatures may broach 50 degrees today in and around Shelby County and Memphis, but otherwise into the 40s out there. Winds switch to the southeast later on tonight. More clouds and back into the mid to upper 30s for low temperatures. So not frozen precipitation, but we may see some more scattered showers out across parts of the area. Rest of the day today they should be seeing dwindling chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through. If we get any rumbles of thunder, that's going to be rare, but it still could be possible, so stay tuned for that and the possibility of stormier weather as we get into around right now. Not looking too bad at the Ole Miss track and in the background in Oxford, Mississippi. Gray skies and back into the mid-40s. Heading into the rest of the day today, again, not much improvement, less in the way of rain, all the clouds sticking around, overcast skies expected to be staying around as we go into the rest of the day today. So doubtful we're going to be seeing too much out there. Airport delays early reported at Memphis International. Delays of 15 minutes or less. Cloudy skies, fog, and winds light out of the east at about 3. Likewise, so far not seeing any major backups of any of the airports out across the continental United States where it comes to major delays early Sunday morning. So good news there. Olive Branch, Mississippi. Former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam from the Weather Underground System showing clouds, fog, and drizzle on the webcam so far this morning. And from Look Rock, some very nice views of some scattered sprinkles in and around Great Smoky Mountains National Park in East Tennessee. This camera pointed to the northeast and toward the Johnson City area. Led to understand more of our web system at wrhg.com slash webcam. So how did we do? A third of an inch of rain yesterday. Doesn't sound like much, but it helps. As the last few months have been exceptionally dry. We're still behind for the month by about a quarter of an inch, but at least we picked up some of that and more rainfall to be had over the next few days. Six inches plus for a surplus and that's about all that we've got. Temperatures yesterday pretty close to normal. 50 for our high, 42 the low, 38 and 55 is where we should be for a normal. Record low hasn't been broken since 1893 and a record high set back in 1998 of 78 degrees. Very warm for this time of the year. Rest of the day today we'll see the showers coming and going. Not much expected in the way of a deluge but you may need the windshield wipers and the umbrella. High temperatures this afternoon not that high only in the upper 40s to around the lower 50s and more chances of rainfall going to be expected tomorrow but we should be clearing out a bit tonight as a brief push of dry air makes its way into the area we'll clear out a bit into early tomorrow morning as the winds turn back around to the north for a little while tomorrow morning we should be clear starting off heading for the school bus but then by lunchtime the rain comes back heaviest rain in the northern parts of mississippi southeastern arkansas and then more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we go towards sunset and afterwards that's when the heaviest activity should be moving in severe weather right now doesn't really appear to be a major threat but it does look like it is going to be a possible problem, especially down toward the Gulf of Mexico today. That faint green area, that is a generic threat of thunderstorms. That brighter green that you see down to and around portions of the panhandle of Florida, that's where we see again what's a, a little bit higher, a marginal threat of severe weather taking place uh, into and around the area of Florida. So we're not going to be seeing again too much taking place, it looks like right now here in the Mid-South. Tomorrow, that's the problem. That's where we see again the threat of severe weather mainly concentrated along and south of the Mid-South area, but some of that could make its way up and into the Mid-South area tomorrow in the form of isolated showers and thunderstorms. Severe threat into Tuesday, gone, heading back over to the east of us into around Florida, Georgia, and parts of the Carolinas. Rest of the day today, upper 40s, rain dwindling, just cloudy skies out there, and then getting into Monday, temperatures back in the lower 50s with showers and thunderstorms increasing throughout the rest of the day. Tuesday, back to 
normal on temperatures mid 50s with drizzle and showers early in the morning then just mostly cloudy in the afternoon Wednesday a few showers in advance for our next push of cold air that'll be mainly in the evening overnight into early Thursday morning and with the arrival of that cold air we could see some snow flurries mixed in with the rainfall that's what we're going to be seeing of it but don't go planning to build a snowman out of this because this is going to be a very limited very limited not enough to scrape the driveways not enough for schools out from what it looks like right now that could change stay tuned for more on that more showers coming back into the picture on saturday briefly and then very much on the chilly side for the next several days highs in the upper 30s to the lower to mid 40s across much of the area and then clearing out as we go toward the end of next weekend heading to iraq weather with the true are temperatures early on Sunday afternoon back into the mid to upper 60s across much of the country sunny in Mosul and mid to upper 60s throughout much of the rest of the area back into the Persian Gulf 80s around 60s around the Kuwaiti International at Bahrain at the International Airport there back into Afghanistan friends and looking again uh, some scattered area in the weather and very mild temperatures back into the uh, mountainous area western part of the country but nothing in the way of rain snow or dust storms DMZ in South Korea down to the coast looking at upper 30s to lower 40s with partly cloudy skies clear down toward Busan with temperatures in the mid 40s there and upper 30s around Taegu and mid to upper 30s in and around the area of Chunshan thanks to everybody for sending in the pictures over the last few days and weeks sunrise sunset fog weather stations thanks to thanking Mike H. Forrester for sending in a great picture of his weather station. Like to tweet something to us so we can feature it on air. Aonic underscore WREG3. My forecast on radio throughout the East Arkansas Broadcast Network Country 92.5 and Oldies 102. Get to download the weather app no matter what platform you have. Killer App Store and search WREG weather for more. Rest of the evening again could be drizzly but mostly just on the cloudy side and cool out there and rest of next week is going to be up and down on the temperatures especially down toward the end of the week but not seeing anything so far in the way of concentrated severe weather so definitely good news there we'll keep you updated on that on um, the late edition of news channel 3 at 10 tonight nfl football will be running a little bit longer so you'll find us out there we'll try to do a quick weather update on news channel 3 uh, online tonight as of about eight o'clock if that works the reception in here a little bit of a uh, thing so we'll see how well that works and if you have any questions again austin.onic at wreg.com the email up there at the top of your screen i'm meteorologist austin onic live and direct from the news channel 3 weather center in